Hi there, this is Asad Siddiqui again, and uh, I'm the owner and developer at idesignsmart.com. The purpose of this video is to show you guys a uh, one page uh, bio website that I did using WordPress theme Avada. As you might have known already, a lot of my other videos are about this WordPress theme, and I really like the features and the power that it gives all the developers so my other videos talk about how you can customize various aspects of the theme and put sliders and I did a video on revolution sliders this one is going to be about building one page websites using Avada theme the theme has a sample page that is called one page parallax as you can see this page doesn't have any parallax so my client didn't want to use any parallax for hers but what happens is if you closely look at the menu if you click on the intro the page will scroll if you click on experience the page will scroll to the experience and because I have enabled the sticky header on this theme um, you can navigate to different areas by clicking on this buttons or menu items so you can do that what I want to do is I will show you how I have configured and set up this site and I will also show you how this um, testimonial widget is working I've done a revolution slider for that and a contact form 7 for the contact form so just to give you a brief overview this is for a client and she wanted to have a one page website for her company which is startsavvy.com and it uh, provides uh, professional resumes and interviews tips and great website for uh, new college grads so uh, you should also check that one out uh, the URL of the site is startsavvy.com so this is the site that I did just to give you an overview of the uh, design we will go to the back end and we will go to the pages and you see that you have two pages uh, the blog page is not really used but this is the front page that I'm using for um, this um, and I will show you different design elements that we have used and how we have styled them so first thing that I wanted to walk through was how the menu is working and how does it go to specific sections when you click on buttons at the top so if you I will just open a dashboard and new window here and uh, when the dashboard opens I will go to appearance and menus so once I go to menus what basically what you see is intro experience the W's education champions endorsements and testimonials and a contact this is precisely what you see on the menu here so the menu I've configured for the top section is um, is the menu that you're looking at now what is important to note here is this these are not pages these are custom links so on the left side if you notice you have a drop down here that says custom links and you can add any link um, uh, that you want in your site so I have created a intro link and experience links and W's link and education champions link and if you open what this links to is you will notice that it's an internal anchor anchor link um, so basically this is not going to any website this is going inside of a page the same page that we are looking at and it is trying to go to a section that is called intro so how do you do that with Avada theme so we look at the page configuration here and I will tell you how that uh, stuff is working so one of the builder elements and if you need to be familiar with um, the page elements here on how you can uh, design using the fusion page builder I have a separate video for that so you might be interested to just look at it to get a better idea of how to use that so in the this is a full width container and all these elements that you see at the top um, these are inside of a full width container and the blue overlay that you see on this image is a CSS that um, I did so you can uh, unselect the CSS and um, you won't get any blue overview we did a blue overview because uh, the theme of the site is um, very blue so we wanted to have that in our um, design so basically if you look at the um, 
look at the CSS of the side, there are a bunch of um, uh, overlays defined here. So if I unselect that, you see something else get selected. So if you disable all these overlays, basically, uh, then you will see that this image is some other color. Now it just went away, but So if you change that, so this is the image that we had on the site. And if you see, this is slightly blue as well, but we had the overlay to make it more blue. So the text is more readable at the, uh, on top of the image. So that is also a design element. I'll just refresh the page. So we go back to the blue that you were looking at as it looks visually more appealing. And you also see that there is an animation for the image that we have. I'll do a separate video and diff, uh, and show you how to do like circular images with borders and those kind of things. So this one, pretty straightforward. What I was showing you was the menu anchor. One of the builder elements that you see here is menu anchor and you can drag and drop it wherever you want. The important thing to note is the menu anchor and if you click on the little pencil here, it'll ask you for a name and you don't have to specify the pound sign or the hash sign here, just put uh, give your menu anchor any name and it should be all lowercase uh, that I found out in the theme documentation. So if you have lowercase here and uh, then if your menu element is set to hash intro, the page will scroll right here when you click on that menu anchor. So if we go here, this is um, the link and if we look at the bottom of my screen, it says hash intro. If I click on that, it'll slightly scroll and take me to this section um, that is displaying the intro. So at the top, we have an image frame. An image frame has one photo. Um, we did a custom animation. We just did a fade down with a speed of 0 0.5 to give it a nice um, slide down effect. Basically, it's a fade down effect. After that, we have a uh, the heading that says founder start savvy and then we have a text like a text block so this is a text block which is a standard wordpress editor basically and uh, you can design whatever uh, text you want here so i have done some html formatting inside of paragraphs uh, just to define the colors and margins and things like that um and um once you have uh, created that text, uh, then after that I have uh, images uh, that are being displayed over here, which is the definition of savvy and four different uh, circles. And inside of them, these are also images that we created. And uh, these are one by five columns, basically. So there are five columns with five images and each column, each image is center aligned there. And then you, if you look at it, there is another menu anchor, which is called experience. And then I'll have a menu item here that's called experience. So if you look at experience and scroll down, you will see a hash experience here. And then uh, if you click on experience, it will take you to the experience. So basically the format is the same. I just use basic Avada Fusion uh, Builder to do this and you have a different things for experience. This is also a text block and using just some formatted text. And then you have a featured contributor section and there are some client um, image or book images here. And I'm using the element. If you scroll down here, I'll. it's called client slider. So client slider is the element uh, that comes built in with the builder and you can add new images. And uh, I've left this to auto, but all my images were same dimensions. So then you can browse for any images that you have here. The great thing about this is uh, on a mobile view, it works great. So if you minimize this and let's say you're on a mobile screen, now you see that featured contributor is different in the mobile view. So it gives a cool effect there. And then you have uh, another built-in version uh, or built-in control that the theme gives you and it's called toggles. So if you also look at the page uh, for the drop downs, because if it's a one page site, you want most of the content visible there. You don't want your content to be so long that a user, uh, that a reader gets lost in translation. 
So we use toggles and most of the content is inside of the toggle. So you can click on it or touch it if you're on a phone or, or tablet and then you can um, see the different text like for example who we are and then you have uh, some content here. So if you go back uh, who we are and then you have some content and you can configure these toggles to be open or closed. So basically I can close that and open that and open that. And um, the same thing for these toggles too, like you can open that or open that. Uh, we have to write custom CSS to style different toggles. So there, there is different CSS defined that will style different types of toggles to go well with my sections. This is also a toggle. And then you have a testimonial section here. Like if you click on in endorsement and testimonial, it brings you to this. And the testimonial section here, you see that there are some testimonials playing. This is basically a revolution slider. So if you go to the back end and look at the revolution slider, then uh, we'll have a slider here with the testimonials defined and um, we'll be displaying different pictures on a five second interval and we will not pause when you hover over it. So if I go to edit slides, you will see that it'll have all the slides that you see over there. So I can click on edit slide here and you will see some uh, testimonial like this. So if going back to the page, um, I will just go the back button route this time because it will take more time to load otherwise. So going back to the page, um, after the testimonials, we have a contact form. So this is contact form seven and we have just used some custom CSS to style it. Uh, there's a background image behind that. So it's a full width container and an image inside of that. So, and if, again, if you want to know uh, more about full width containers, you can uh, feel free to check out my other video where I show how to uh, put pictures and how to do parallax effects and those kind of things in Avada theme. Uh, again, this is a really powerful theme and I really like it. The purpose of this video was to show you how to do one page uh, websites using this theme. And if you have installed the theme and you're wondering, uh, you can get if you can get an example on how this is done, then you may want to check out the page that comes with the sample content called One Page Parallax, and you will see the exact same thing. So I hope that this provides some helpful pointers to you. And if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment or you can contact me. My contact information is underneath of this video and feel free to send me an email and we can discuss uh, whatever uh, needs you might have. So thanks very much for watching. Until next time.